in the presence of His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales. We're delighted that they've joined us um, and are uh, performing the naming. I name this ship Queen Victoria. May God bless her and all who sail in her. When our guests come on board Queen Victoria, they really can expect a truly traditional voyage. This is really trying to pick up the golden age of travel. We are a liner, we take voyages, um, we carry guests. They're going to feel immediately at home, they're going to recognise everything and they know they're going to get the service which is associated with Cunard. Queen Victoria for me does embody everything that Cunard stands for. Our history and our heritage, some 168 years the company's been going and those ocean liners of the past are very much picked up in her interior decor. I think we've done it in a very special way. The importance, of course, of the Victorian era to Cunard is that that was the era during which the company first started and then really rose to be the preeminent name in world shipping. The Queen's Room Ballroom is modelled on Osborne House, which was Queen Victoria's island home. We've got some wonderful memorabilia from Victorian days of Queen Victoria and her family and the actual etchings that she and Albert did of their dogs. She was a very keen etcher and very good at it. The accommodation on board Queen Victoria picks up the same sort of style in terms of decor as on Queen Mary II, which went down very well with our guests. 87% of the uh, accommodation is actually outside, and well over two-thirds of the accommodation is actually with balcony, which our guests love. We have the Britannia restaurant for the main group of our guests on board. This is a very a spectacular restaurant set over two decks. Uh, we then have our grills restaurants, uh, the Princess Grill and the Queen's Grill up on deck 11 with fabulous views out to sea. And that really does offer the very top range of cuisine at sea. We then have Todd English as an alternative restaurant. It's a Mediterranean style of cuisine and the uh, decor is quite sumptuous but very uh, intimate. We have all the traditional style of Cunard bars and clubs on board from our chart room which is our cocktail bar and then we have our Commodore Club which is our forward observation lounge up on deck 10 and a very traditional British pub complete with beans and pub grub at lunchtime. 
we have many crew from Queen Mary II, Queen Elizabeth II, who've been with Cunard a long time and they know what Cunard means for our guests. Our theatre has a variety of entertainment planned for it, from our big West End shows to our Insights programme, which is our lecture programme at sea. This is very much a West End style theatre, complete with boxes. And indeed, we also have a Royal Box, inaugurated by uh, their Royal Highnesses. The Royal Arcade is a very different venue to go shopping. It's uh, modelled on the Burlington Arcade and the Queen's Arcade from London. It's a very unusual and uh, atmospheric place. On all of our ships, we like to share our history and heritage with our guests. We have our Cunardia Museum, which is our way of showing our Cunard history on this particular ship. She's a great addition. She's our third Cunard Queen, and this is the first time in our history that we've ever had three Cunard Queens on the ocean waves at the same time. Queen Victoria will do the occasional transatlantic run, and then she will also be able to trade around the world. She'll certainly do our signature world cruise. We think these voyages will appeal to people who are looking for a little history and heritage, really people that are looking for a very special experience. This is the, uh, the ship for them.